Item Number SCP-488 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Due to the small size of objects leaving SCP-488-1, suppression of public dissemination of knowledge regarding SCP-488 is sufficient for containment in the foreseeable future. SCP-488-2 is housed in a reinforced bunker at a depth of 50 meters near the military proving ground at Triple redundant seismic sensors are in place to record meteorite impacts in the vicinity and must be tested daily for functionality. In the case of impact of meteorites above 0.5 meters in diameter, the structural integrity of the bunker must be inspected and SCP-488-2 moved to a backup bunker located 500 meters to the south via underground tunnel if repairs are necessary. Description SCP-4881 is a location near Earth's L4 Langrarian Point. Though direct observation of the location has shown nothing stationary to date, objects ranging from 0.5 meters to 12 meters in diameter will spontaneously appear at this location and immediately accelerate towards the Earth. Composition varies slightly from object to object, but are consistent with rocks of extraterrestrial origin and do not appear to be artificial. Most of these objects disintegrate and burn up in the atmosphere, but a meteor of sufficient mass to impact the surface will strike every 6 to 12 hours. SCP-4882 is a 26-year-old Caucasian male, a resident of before his voluntary containment with the Foundation. SCP-4882 is physiologically normal in all respects, apart from heavy scarring acquired from his anomalous property. To date, all objects positively identified as originating from SCP-4881 have been recorded impacting within 100 meters of SCP-4882, determined via extensive experimentation involving relocating SCP-4882 between secure Foundation sites. SCP-4882 has shown no particular ability to resist damage from these impacts, and in fact first came to the Foundation's attention when he was hospitalized on 2000 after a 0.47 meter meteorite destroyed his home, killing his wife and infant son. SCP-4882 was voluntarily contained shortly thereafter, and has remained in Foundation custody since. SCP-4882 is unaware of how this property manifested, or exactly when it started, but that he first noted an anomalous impact approximately six months before the incident, and increased in regularity and severity up until the incident occurred. SCP-4882 is usually cooperative with Foundation researchers, but suffers from severe depression and paranoia regarding his condition. SCP-4882 is required to undergo regular psychiatric evaluation, as well as the regular administration of antidepressants and sedatives. Contingencies are being developed should the objects originating from SCP-4881 continue to increase in size until they are a threat to containment and suppression of public knowledge. These contingencies include but are not limited to the possibility of euthanasia of SCP-4882. Lesson Complete If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-487, The Impossible House, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.